Okay, so this is part G. I've kept part F because it says using part F and considering the sine of f dash of negative one, show that the point zero zero on the graph of y equals f of x is a local minimum point for even values of n and a point of inflection with zero gradient for odd values of n. Okay, let me just show you first what we're trying to do here. This, this question, to be fair, is, is um, not straightforward, or, or it's hard to get your head around. We want to show that it's a local minimum at zero. So at zero, we want um, at zero we know the gradient is zero so at zero zero the gradient is zero we know that because f dash of zero is zero if i subbed in zero in here this whole thing is zero so the gradient is zero at zero after zero which would be a over four in our case here that's what it says using this so after zero we know the derivative is positive. So we have that, a positive gradient. And then before zero, which is this guy, f at negative one, let's say negative one, we basically want to show that we've got a negative gradient. Because if I can go negative, zero, positive, that's a minimum, negative, zero, positive. So I essentially want to show that f, dash of a over 4 is positive, f dash of 0 is 0. Those two I know because I know this from f and I know f dash of 0 is 0 just from subbing it in here. All I need to show is that f dash of negative 1 is negative. So let's do that first. f dash, and this is for, well it's for even, for even values of n. So f dash of negative 1. f dash of negative 1 is equal to um, n times negative 1 to the n minus 1 a so it is plus 2 because negative 2 times negative 1 is plus 2 and it's a plus 1 for similar reason and this is to the power of n minus 1 now guys if n is even if n is even f dash of negative 1 is less than zero. This is going to be negative because, and you have to say why, guys. You can look at it. Hopefully, if you just imagine n is even, why would this be negative? Well, hopefully, you can see it. If n is even and n is positive, guys, n is greater than one, so it's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, whatever. If n is an even number, let's say, let's just imagine it was ten, but it will work the same for any even number. If n is ten, this is obviously positive. 10. This is negative because you have negative 1 to the power of 9 because 9 minus 10 minus 1 is 9. Negative 1 to the power of 9 or to the power of an odd number will give me negative 1. So this is negative. This is obviously positive because a is positive and this is positive because a plus 1 is positive. So I need to say all those things because um, minus 1 to the n minus 1 is less than 0. And n is greater than 0. a plus 2 is greater than 0. And a plus 1 to the n minus 1 is greater than 0. So there we have. I have explained it. So f, ne f dash of negative 1 is negative. f dash of 0 equals 0. And f dash of a over 4 is positive, is greater than 0. I'll put in brackets from part f. Therefore, therefore, um, therefore, we have, and I'm actually going to draw this like this. Um, we have negative gradient to zero to zero gradient to positive. Therefore, we have negative gradient to zero gradient to positive, which is which gives um, 
a local min. A local min. Okay. There, that's part one. Next thing, show that it's a point of inflection for odd values of n, right? So let's just look at four. This is part two. For n is odd. For n is odd. I have f dash of negative one is greater than zero for this for similar reasons. Look, same thing because this is positive. This is now positive because you have an odd number. Imagine n is, let's say, I don't know, 17. 17 minus 1 is 16. That gives me an even power. Minus 1 to an even power is a, is a positive number. So f dash of negative 1 is greater than 0 because, again, guys, if it's a show that question, this is annoying. I know you have to write down all these things. But uh, if you want the marks, that's what you got to do. Because um, negative 1 to the n minus 1. I'm just going to put them all down now. Comma, n, comma, a plus 2, comma, a plus 1 to the n minus 1 are all positive. And then similarly, f dash of 0 is 0. f dash of a over 4 is greater than 0. Again, if you want to write from f. And then we have, therefore, we have same thing, but it's instead of negative to zero to negative, it's positive to zero to positive. So we have positive to zero to positive gradient. which gives which gives point of inflection point of inflection with zero gradient that that's a point of inflection with zero gradient guys it's like um it's that it's imagine you have y equals x cubed there's a point of inflection there because it changes concavity and it's zero gradient um so we have a point of inflection with zero gradient Okay, done. That is part, uh, part G, one more part for this question.